My goal is to get you up and running, get you signed up, get you going with cost first, and then show you some short tri trips and tips to get things happening. Reminder, you can go to the iTunes store to get the cost first app. You can go to the Google Play store and get the cost first app. I'm also going to show you today how we've integrated our cost first net sheet with my first AMP, which is our property profile system that makes it easy to do both your property profile search and net sheet all at one time. And we'll go through a buyer demo for that to show you an example of that. Again, if you have any questions, please make sure you go to the control panel and enter them over on the right hand side there. And I'll do my best to look over at that periodically throughout the presentation and we'll get going. The first thing I want to show you at CostFirst, CostFirst.com, is this one link in the center of the page called Contact Us. There is a phone number of 800-252-86, sorry, 92, or support at CostFirst.com. They are excellent at providing that kind of technical support for you. So whether you're having a computer issue or whether you simply are having a question on how to, to use the tool, make sure you reach out to them our support group at costfirst.com. When you go to costfirst.com, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to, want to click on this click here to register to get signed up. So when you click on here to register, there's some important things that are some important steps you may want to take go through. You're going to put in your name, your email address, you're going to pick your username. Your username has to be unique in our system. So find the right username that works for you and works for us. And then this is where you need to pay attention. If you pick the state, let's say I'm going to pick California, let's say I'm going to go down and pick Riverside, and then I'm going to put in a Riverside zip code. So here, let's go, I know you're Belinda. Well, here, let's go Orange County. I'm just going to use our corporate office here and put 92707. And you're going to pick your zip code. So by me picking California orange and a zip code of 92707, it will then populate the different sales reps that are available for me to select. I'm going to select my own self as a sales rep just to show you as an example. But the registration process here is setting yourself up with a home-based zip code of 92707. What that means is when you're doing a cost-first net sheet, it's going to calculate your title and escrow fees and an average transaction cost for that zip code. The great thing about cost first is we're getting this rolled out across the country. So if you're in Southern California and you want a net sheet in Northern California, because that's where the property is located and you want to pull in the title and escrow fees for Northern California, it will do it based on the zip code of the property. Same thing goes for if I want to pull a property, do a net sheet in Arizona, Nevada, Texas, Hawaii, Oregon, Washington, all the same thing. So the great thing about it is it's zip code specific and it pulls in the appropriate rate based on where you're located. So you click on submit and you get your account. I'm going to log in with an account that I already have and it will take me to cost first the dashboard. That's what we call this, the dashboard. And it shows the account manager associated with my account over here in the bottom left hand corner. There's a link to the website up here at the top right corner. It's telling me I have an Orange County account. The first thing I want to share with you is this settings button. The settings button lets you determine what you want your default cost to be in the NetSheet calculator tool. And it's broken down by tab, seller tab, short sale tab, FHA tab, buyer's cost. And you can set up these costs to be anything that you want to be. What we have done is we have reached out to our escrow officers within each one of the county locations and we've asked them, what's an average typical transaction cost? You know, what is the transfer tax rate? In this case, it's 1.1%. You can change any of these that you want. Let's say you work with a home warranty company that doesn't charge 360, but they only charge 325. Okay. You can change that and click on the green check mark and now it's 325. So every one of the net sheets that um, pops up, it's going to be using that 325 figure for home warranty. You can add other net, you know, descriptions in here. I've got escrow coordination, you know, fee. You know, you can you can put in any fees that you want that you normally charge, so you don't have to change it every single time. If you make a mistake, if you enter this information in incorrectly and you want to start over, just click on this redownload default cost. 
if you know this cost, this recording fee is going to be 50 bucks and it's going to stay 50 bucks no matter what you do, you might want to lock it in. And that's the whole purpose of the lock. So I'm just going to re-download the default cost and put it back the way uh, it is when we originally installed the program and have it home warranty now go back to, you know, 360 rather than 325. Okay, so set up your, your default cost. You might want to look at your default cost. On the buyer side, you're going to see an interest rate. You might want to change that interest rate to, uh, you know, 4.75. And again, you can change these default costs easily anytime that you want. Okay, that's the dashboard, and that's the power of settings. Down here, we'll talk about customized prints later, but customized prints lets you customize the printout summary that you get with your branding. So if you want to put your photo, your logo, your contact information at the top of the summary printout, you can do that by using this customized print button. Let's go in and do a buyer closing cost. And let me take you through the scenario. So I'm talking with Mary Smith and I'm going to prepare this for Mary Smith at 123 Anywhere Street. Somewhere California, and I've got a zip code of 92887. Whatever zip code I put in there is going to drive my title and escrow fees. I'm going to put in a price of 400000 I'm going to hit tab to accept that number. In the meantime, it's going to be calculating the title and escrow fees for this $400,000 property. I can make a decision, does seller pay, does buyer pay, so you can make some decisions in terms of your cost. You can look at the default settings that we looked at before, the default setting cost. If I know this one particular transaction is going to be 325 for home warranty, I can change that to 325. So you can change them individually on the fly if you would like to. At the same time, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say, okay, we're going to close this transaction in a couple of months. And the property taxes for this particular property is $3,000. By me picking the closing date and by me putting in the appropriate property taxes, it will prorate for the buyer and seller that particular property tax amount. The great thing about this NetSheet tool now is it's saying for this $400,000 property, my buyer is going to pay $2,661 a month and needs $55,705 at closing to close the transaction. My buyer tells me right now, can't afford $400,000. They can only afford $2,500. And then if I change that to 2500 this 400000 sale price now changes to 376000 and changes all the closing costs at the same time. So a nice way to back into what a client can afford. Well, one of the benefits of cost first is we save everything to the cloud. And what I mean by that is I'm on my desktop right now demonstrating this. But if I were to go up here and click on save, it's going to save this transaction based on the address that I did. I could always go to my mobile device and open up this transaction and go and edit and change it and, and reprint out the summary sheet. So we save everything. It makes it easy for you to save it on your desktop, open on your mobile. Save it on your mobile, open up on your desktop. No matter where you are, you have access to all your net sheets that you want to do. If you click on open, it's going to show you all the different net sheets that you've done and you can simply click on one to open it. So that's one benefit of cost first storage on the cloud. The other benefit here is you have this printout. So the printout, the whole purpose of the printout is to give you kind of a month, you know, a snapshot, a summary printout. I could put my photo logo up here on the left. I could put my contact information on the right. I could actually take a picture of the property, do a video, and include this on my mobile device. So I've got the ability of branding this information at the top of the printout. This is just a summary printout of all my costs and what my monthly payment's going to be. And it's a nice closing tool for you to connect with your consumer on. If everything's agreeable here, let's just sign here and let's get started today. So a great little summary sheet that you can print out that you can email. If you do email the print, you'll get a copy of it as, long, as well as it goes to the particular client that you have. If you want to do a HUD, you can do a HUD. You can't see it on the screen because it creates a PDF. So it's easy to email the HUD to your client. Typically, escrow officers use that tool, lenders, not so much real estate agents, but you do have the capability if you want to generate that HUD. That's the buyer's net sheet. The seller works the same way, except sellers just got some different um, options when you look at the seller net sheet. 
obviously on the seller side, I can look at what my commission rates are. You know, listing agent gets two points and the buyer agent, selling agent gets three points. So just some different questions you have to ask yourself to come up with what the total costs are and what the seller might net out of a particular transaction. So if I put in a $400,000 sale price, it will then calculate the title and escrow fees and be accurate today based on looking at that title and escrow fee and come up with, okay, if you sell the house for $400,000, your costs are going to be $28,280 and you're going to net $371,000 out of this transaction on the seller side. The net first is a little bit different. The net first lets you determine what you think you might want to be able to sell the property for. So it's almost coming up with a fantasy sale price. And again, it's based on the zip code of the particular property. So to net, for net first to work, you simply put in, okay, I've got to pay off my loan, $350,000. I want to net out of this transaction $50,000. So I, once I pay off my loans and once I determine how much money I want to make out of the, this particular property, it then goes through this cost calculation routine, trying to figure out, trying to determine what is going to be the sale price for me to pay off my loan and to get the net that I want. And that's what I mean by a fantasy sale price. So if I'm door knocking and talking to the consumer, the consumer may say, I'm not moving anywhere until I get $50,000 out of this. Okay, then it comes up with a sale price of 432,000. Now that may not be realistic today, but at some point in time it may. And then I might wanna reach out to that particular seller and talk to them about selling their house for 432,000 so they can make the number that they're looking for. That's net first. Short sale is got some special features that you'll want to take advantage of. So once you put your property address information in, you can say, okay, I can sell this particular property for $395,000. I've got to pay off my junior liens of $8,500 at Wells. I've got property taxes of $2,000 I have to worry about. But then you're going to go over here and you're going to say, okay, delinquent taxes are $3,000. You're going to say delinquent homeowners association is two thousand. You're going to say I'm going to miss three, you know, two house payments, three house payments before I close. I'm going to put down four thousand dollars. So again, you can adjust any of these costs that you want, fill the form out completely. But this bit form is basically telling me to sell the property at three hundred ninety-five thousand dollars. I'm going to have an estimated HUD of three fifty zero fifty one eighty six. So all I have to do is copy that and go over here to the balance, paste that in, and I'm going to pay B of A off $350,000 to zero out my file. So to sell this property at 395, B of A, the first, is going to have to accept $350,000 to make this work. So it gives you an idea whether it can work or not work going right into the short sale. Great way of generating the HUD on this one as well. This short sale calculation tool is not available to you on your app, but you can always go to your iPad, go to costfirst.com, and use the website tool to do your short sale if you want to do that. And refinance just is what it is. Refinance, you know, again, fill out the forms, and it will tell you what the, the monthly payment is if you go through this whole refinance process. So that's your net sheet calculator tool. That's cost first, and it all starts with your dashboard. So dashboard lets you pick and choose what net sheet you want to do. On the dashboard, there is a tutorial link at the very bottom, so you can go look at a webinar like this. We try to keep you posted on any of the enhancements or updates that, that occur. And again, if you want to customize the printout feature, every market's different. In Washington, they can't customize. They can't do dual branding. In California, you can do dual branding or agent branding, but you have to buy a 99-cent app from the iTunes store. In Arizona, Nevada, Texas, you can get branding and all that stuff done for free. So it just depends on the Department of Insurance rules and depends on where you're at. An agent can choose the standard branding. If they want the standard branding, they can put a photo up here in the left-hand corner, their contact information in the center. If they choose the advanced branding, the advanced branding lets them create the banner all they want themselves so they can upload this whole banner here and really truly customize it. And that's for the more advanced users. So you've got the branding capability available to you on cost first if it's available in your particular marketplace. That is cost first. Now what I want to show you is my first am is integrated with cost first. So if I go over here to myfirstam.com, 
separate application. You can always contact your sales reps to get a username and password set up for My First Nam. I just want to show you how easy it is for me to go to My First Nam. I'm going to pull up a property that I've done before, so I'm going to click on this 20340 via Natalie, and I'm going to look at the property profile for this particular address. Once I pull up this property profile address, I'm working with the buyer. Let's say I'm sitting with the buyer in an open house. So I pull up my property profile. I've got my cover sheet, transaction history. I've got all the information that I want. But you know what? Since I'm looking at this particular property, I'm going to go over here to the Cost First button. And if I click on Cost First, watch what happens. It automatically launches another window. It automatically launches and signs me into Cost First. I can then say, OK, I'm working with this buyer in the open house. I can click on the buyer's net sheet. It automatically copies in the address. It automatically copies in the property tax amount. And now I'm off and running. So it's easy, it's simple, it's one stop in terms of getting your net sheet launched from My First Amp. The first time you click on Cost First, it'll ask you what your Cost First username and password is. Once you've entered it, it will remember it and you won't have to enter it again. If you click on Preferences and click on External Systems, that's where it remembers your username and password. So if you ever had to reset that, change it for whatever reason, you can. It's just it will store it there automatically for you into this external systems and remember your username and password. Another nice benefit of Cost First. So just a reminder, if you need help or assistance, you can go down here and click on the Contact Us button. Contact us. We'll give you the 800-252-8692 support line. You can always talk to support at costfirst.com. You can always go get your mobile applications on your iPhone, iPad, or your Android device. It is a great application that doesn't cost you anything for the full featured full version of this tool. So go to Cost First today. Go click on register, sign up, pick your home base county, and you're off and running. With that, if you have any questions, please put those questions in the box to the right, into the question box, and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions. But other than that, if you need to get a hold of me, my name is Scott Hohen, H-O-E-N, you see at the very top here, S-C-O-T-T-H-O-E-N. My email address is S-H-O-E-N at firstam.com, or you can get a hold of me at 714-270-9607. That's cost first in a nutshell, and I hope that that proved to be helpful for you to get you started. Start using it today. With that, I'd like to say thank you for everybody to showing up on time and listening to the presentation today. Make it a profitable day. Good day, everybody.